Douglas Cooling and Heating. Serving the Birmingham area for 38 years. 988-3706. That's Douglas. I'm James Spann. It's the Weather Extreme video. This is for Friday the 6th of January. Mild is the word as we head into the weekend. We'll be in the 60s for several days and a little rain falling at times uh, tomorrow and Sunday and maybe some strong storms next week. Let's take a look. We'll start with the Skycam images and goodness gracious, isn't that nice? We've seen some wonderful sunset scenes from our Alpha Skycam down at uh, Gulf Shores that was captured uh, a little before 5 o'clock yesterday. Sun goes down over the water here in January, but not in February. That sun is on the move as we are well past the solstice now. This morning, there's the uh, Fayette Sky Cam up in northwest Alabama. Pretty cold, colder than forecast. You know, we figured uh, most spots would stay a little above freezing, but as it turns out, most spots are a tad below freezing. And there's the Haleyville Sky Cam. I wonder if anybody's ever shopped at Elliott Boots and Shoes. Probably got some good stuff in there. All right, uh, there's the uh, feature over Texas we're watching. And, of course, up north, you can see the northern branch has got the cold air cut off. And, you know, they warmed up really big time up into the high plains yesterday with record warmth. I think uh, Rapid City, South Dakota, hit 73 yesterday. But that's all going to change next week. Uh, temperatures this morning, uh, again, you can see the cooler pocket across north Alabama back off to the east. But, again, generally speaking, the really cold stuff is clearly bottled up in Canada. Nation remains pretty quiet. Uh, got some dense fog issues in the Gulf Coast and a red flag warning in West Texas, and that's about it. And the rain for the next five days, found it through Tuesday evening, and our friends in East Texas will take that. You know, they've had that big drought out there, so that's a good thing. And around here, the amounts uh, taper off from about three quarters of an inch in the north down to a uh, quarter inch around Dothan. And uh, we'll see. There could be some strong storms and good rain here, maybe Tuesday or Tuesday night, just beyond this period. We'll check the modeling. This is the 06 ZGFS at noon today at 500 millibars. And again, you can see that weakness in the southern branch. But uh, today we stay dry, mild. Highs up in the uh, mid-60s, around 65. We'll call it partly sunny. Clouds will thicken tonight. And tomorrow, here's the deal. A little light rain, a few showers, but uh, not a washout. We stay awfully mild, highs well up in the 60s, and the same thing on Sunday. So, yes, you could need the rain gear a few times if you're outside this weekend, but uh, uh, nothing heavy, no thunder, nothing really persistent. All right, uh, let's go to Monday of next week. Pretty much the same deal. Uh, we stay very mild, highs in the upper 60s, chance of showers. And then Tuesday, here comes this stronger feature over Texas, and now, uh, this run of the GFS is an outlier. We've got an energy over uh, California near San Francisco, northern branch energy, kind of a chaotic look. But the system over Texas produces rain, but this is a much slower solution with the rain mainly to the west. And then Wednesday, that thing blows in here with a 1,004 millibar low around Tuscaloosa with rain and storms. So instead of Tuesday as the day with the strongest storms, the this run is suggesting Wednesday. But let's look at the European. You know, it's been doing much better this season. This is midday Tuesday. And uh, again, it's got a better look for rain and storms Tuesday and Tuesday night. And then by Wednesday, that feature's on the way out. That's what we believe will be the case. So we're going to stick with the forecast with a chance of showers and strong storms, maybe severe, We'll see. The, the models will not be able to handle the instability values this far in advance. We'll just say strong to severe. We'll read, you know, define that Monday when we get back. Uh, the better chance of that would be Tuesday and Tuesday night. The rain tapers off Wednesday. All right, this is Thursday. Back to the GFS. We begin to turn cooler, but nothing dramatically cool. And all of a sudden, Friday of next week, that big deep trough that was over the east, it's not there. Everything's out of phase and down below that. You know, it's cool, but not really cold. And then the uh, following day, Saturday the 14th, it's not cold at all. We've seen some runs that make it really cold here. But, hey, you know, this run of the GFS just looks screwy. So let's look at the European. Ooh, hang on now. Look at this. Now, the, the European on Friday has a storm in the Gulf with colder air moving into Alabama. Hey, that makes you want to go, hmm, Um uh, Again, that, it might happen, but if this is right, all the rain would be too far south for snow here. And then on uh, Saturday the 14th, it's brutally cold. You can see the difference. You know, the GFS had it pretty mild. This thing has the 540 line almost down to Tampa Bay, and that would suggest highs only in the 30s and lows down in the uh, teens by 
Sunday morning, and we'll go with that solution. That, that's more consistent with the idea we've had. We'll go out there later in the month. How about January 19th? Ooh, all right. Now, that's an interesting setup. Uh, looks pretty cold, energy swinging our way, and look at that now. Snow fans will love this. But this is pure voodoo, nothing beyond that. Got a 1040 millibar Arctic high around uh, Gage, Oklahoma. Storm in the Gulf, snow, but, you know, we'll see. And then on the 20th, it's just cold. But let's look at the uh, teleconnections. Uh, first off, the NAO, this is the ensembles. And, uh, again, looking at the top chart, you can see how the NAO wants to kind of trend negative, but not really strongly uh, out there at mid-month. But this is the one everybody's kind of buzzing about. This is the Arctic Oscillation, the AO. And it takes a big dip, and, and when that thing goes negative, it kind of opens the gates of the Yukon, and again, from there where it goes kind of depends on the NAO, but evidence clearly that we're going to trend toward that big cold snap uh, in about a week or so, and we'll see if maybe this is the sign of that pattern change that everybody's been looking for. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog. The next video here by 3.30 or so today, and if you live around here, we invite you to watch us on television this evening, ABC 3340 in Birmingham at 4, 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, and God bless.